doing today? It's Saturday. It's beautiful. It's sunny. I was honestly not even sure I was going to record a video today. And two minutes ago, people in our Discord room know there was a buzz at my door. And when I went to check, it was this month's snack crate. So, I was going to do an impersonation of a sloth and do nothing today. But I figured, you know what? Let's get this done. Let's enjoy some great snacks. Let's find out where in the world we're headed today. I'm always prepared with my knife. That's always handy. I do have my coffee. Yum. And let's see what we can, where we are. I did notice this month, they are now putting nutritional information on the back of the box, which to me was a little bit silly because if I'd read it, I might have figured out where we were. But I was good. I didn't peek. As always, we'll give you guys the first little glance. I don't know if you're going to see where it's from or not. I know I didn't. And so they're doing that weird wrap thing again. So we've got our paper. I'm trying to do this, pull that out, so I don't see where we are. Okay, and now I just have a box. I didn't see what's inside, I didn't see where we are. I can feel some chips right on the top. Hmm, a few good things that I see, or I feel curious to all what we got so let's just pull out the first one huh? and that's our first one it kind of looks like little marshmallows cool hello whatever but just the fact it's called scum <laughs> Kind of worries me. <laughs> I I know it probably means something in a different language, but anytime I see something called scum, it makes me worried, especially when I'm about to eat it. That pack opened kind of funny. Oh, kind of smells like cotton candy. So they're like little gummies. A little sour, which I didn't expect, but kind of so really sour. I was expecting it to get sweet when it got toward the middle. No, it actually got more sour. These are really yummy. Mmm. <laughs> It's kind of like a softer Sour Patch Kid, but without any of the sweetness. It's just sour. It was good. <laughs> it was so sour, it made my eyes water. <clears throat> wow. I actually need something other than coffee to try and... Mm. Okay. I just didn't want everything I was tasting now to taste sour. So, I wasn't planning on doing a stack video this week, and chances are I'm still going to be recording another video today. I don't know if it'll be one I'll air this weekend, but it will be recorded. So, so the next thing I got, oh, a dime bar. Okay. If this is the same as what I've had before, this is kind of like a score bar or a Heath bar, depending where you're from. 
and it's a toffee they are a crispy toffee wrapped in some chocolate it's just very very thin mm. Mm. it's really good well, you can see mm. It's a butter toffee that's in there. Nice and crisp. Great chocolate. Mmm. So far, good box. But we're only two things in. And we've had boxes that have started really good and gone downhill really fast. So, let's dig in again. Oh, excellent. We got two of them. <laughs> so far, my favorite thing out of the box, and we've hit a double payload. I'm really happy on that one. Next. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of the companies because I'm just going to butcher it, and with my luck, I'm going to insult somebody. But it's kind of easy to figure out what this is. It's nougat. <laughs> And it says Lubel, so I'm assuming it means double nougat. And by the picture, it's really hard to see there, but it does look like there's a light and a dark nougat. And this is kind of cool. They don't expect you to eat it all at once. It's hard to tell, but back here are instructions on how to reclose the package. So that's kind of cool. I've ne never seen that before. Okay, so there's... Jeez. There's instructions on how to close it. But... <laughs> there aren't instructions on how to get the freaking thing open. <laughs> Oh well. Smell wise is different. Okay. So you can see there, you can tell it's warm today, because things are kind of melting a bit. But you can see there, there's two different layers of the nougat. It's a soft nougat. Mmm. I don't know where we are, but I love their sweet so far. That was really sweet though. It was like a layer of chocolate and then a layer of Nutella. And you bit into it and it just dissolved instantly and your whole mouth just went like, mm -hmm. and it was every inch of my mouth was covered with this beautiful soft chocolate. It kind of reminded me of like a truffle the way that it just coated your mouth, but it was a lot softer. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have a bit of a sore throat today. I went, every two weeks I go and get COVID tested. Being in public service, I sort of have to. And the technician today who did it Let's just say he was a little bit eager to go down my throat with the swab, so a little tender. So when I swallow things, I, I feel it. So let's go next. And again, people have to worry, think about their names. Banana Skids. I'm glad it's not a chocolate, because that would just be really nasty. Okay, so this is a toffee. This is, I don't know what, it, they, I, they really like their two tones, but this is their thing, and it just says banana and toffee. So, 
Hopefully it doesn't taste like a skid mark. Mm. Very, very chewy. Kind of reminds me of like a Laffy Taffy. Definitely not my favorite. The banana taste was so massively. Mm. I felt like my mouth was glued shut there. It was really, really artificial. When you get like those syrupy sodas that you know like it's just pure chemical and there's like closest it ever got back to it. So being a banana was maybe if a factory worker was eating one while it was on the production line but that just tasted like yeah definitely not my favorite if i saw it somewhere and i had my choice between that and not getting a snack I'd go without getting a snack. So let's get into these chips that I've been working around. So these are dill and something. <laughs> there is zero English on this. Even on the back, there's no English, no nothing. All I know is I'm having flashbacks right now to the Russian box. Because that had a dill snack in it. And it was dill with sour cream and tartar sauce and salmon. And honestly, the dog wouldn't even eat them. That whole thing went in the garbage. But yeah, it's just a standard potato chip. Doesn't even smell like anything. Mm, kind of dill. I'm being very cautious because like I said, I don't want to taste back, flashback to that Russian thing. But yeah, they're not bad. The chips are nice and crisp. They're super fresh. There's actually... I doubt you're going to see this on camera. But those little flecks are actual pieces of dill. Of real dill on these. I have no clue what the other flavors are, to be honest. All I can taste is dill, but I like them. A very mild taste. The potato comes through, which is good. And it's not like eating like those dill pickle chips where it's just pure salt and dill. This is, no, you taste the potato, you taste the dill. Good chip. I would definitely get that. Next. It's original. <laughs> I, they look like little gummies. They kind of look like these, but without that sugary coating, you can kind of see back here. They kind of look like cars. Yeah, I'm assuming they're cars because that's what they show on the bottom here. And again... Zero English on this, which is obviously fine. I'm not expecting English on everything. Oh, they're really light. It's like one of those whipped gummy bears. Mm. Like if any of you have ever had the Haribo fried eggs the white part, how it's like that moosey, gummy, I don't know what you'd want to call it. 
But yeah, it's just like that. I'm trying to get a different one because I'm going to see if the flavors are different. We've got a hard to tell there, but yeah, we've got a pink one. Hmm. At first, you've got to bite it a few times. And you bite and it like springs back. When I, when the first one, it was like, is this ever going to break up? And then all of a sudden it just goes like poof and disappears. It was, it was good. Still not my favorite of everything. My favorite still is the dime bar. But I'm someone who loves score bars. So. Okay, so I feel like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six things. Okay. There's a lot in this box. So now we just have some potato chips. I'm assuming they're grill flavor. Because that's what it says. And from looking at the back, I can see it's made with potatoes, probably fried in sunflower oil with salt. Sorry about the sound of the police cars, they're chasing somebody. <laughs> it's Saturday, it's beautiful, everyone is speeding. Even when I went out for my test this morning, people were getting pulled over left, right, and center because everyone was just flying and running the red lights and the stop signs. But yeah, another crinkle cut potato chip. Wow. When it said grill, I was thinking barbecue or something. It's not barbecue. I honestly can't put my tape my my finger on the taste or my tongue on the taste. I have no clue what taste that is, but it's really good. I'm getting all these different flavors. I'm getting paprika, I'm getting garlic salt, I'm getting regular salt, I'm getting some pepper. I'm getting onion salt, I'm getting all these different flavors. And I just wish I knew what flavor they were aiming for other than, well, grill but it's really good second favorite <laughs> the chocolate bar still winning so far mm. Mm. it's really good so so far other than that banana thing everything's been great now don't get me wrong you Kids will love that banana, banana skid, but adults, we're going to pass on that. <laughs> so we still have, like I say, a few more things in here. Now I think we've got just a straight old chocolate bar. I don't think it makes much difference if you hold it either way. Keck. <laughs> but no English I can't tell where we are but with all the chocolate and the quality of the chocolate we've had it's making me definitely think Europe because the quality and the quality of the chocolate oh so it is it's a wafer bar Okay. Hmm. Yum. Hmm. I was kind of expecting it, of course, to be Nutella or hazelnut because that's what they always seem to stick in wafer bars. This is just chocolate. It's really, really good. Melts in your mouth. 
on par with UK chocolate. Like, if I had to take a guess as to where countries are, I would have to say Belgium or Switzerland, because I know it's not the UK, because I can't read anything, <laughs> but the level of the chocolate is just up there. Mm. It's just so melty, you gotta... Mm. Just gotta lick your fingers. <laughs> yeah, so my choices, if I have to guess where we are, I'm say Belgium or Switzerland. Kind of leading towards Switzerland, but only time will tell. So we got a few doubles in this box. Unfortunately, the other double was another one of those banana skids. We'll bring that to work and girls at work will enjoy it. Next. Oh! There's no mistaking what this is. <laughs> we all know an Oreo. And this looks like it's a chocolate bar. And I feel like it's like little pieces inside. And it looks like it's going to be filled with cookies and cream. Or well, in this case, I can actually say Oreo and cream. So, and you can just see it. Kind of looks like that. Whoop. I was only trying to break off one, but I got two. Mmm. Wow. Again, <laughs> before I get covered in chocolate. Mm. The quality of the chocolate. No two ways about it. We're in Belgium or Switzerland. That, if you've ever had the chocolate dipped Oreo cookies, that was it. More of the cream, but there were the cookie bits in there. So it was nice and crunchy. The chocolate was like the star. In fact, I had to search kind of for the Oreo taste because the chocolate just like hit you and it was like, wow. Really, really good. Minus banana skids so far, this whole box has been great. Like even the sour things we had at the start, just because I didn't know what they were, caught me off guard, but they were really good. The other marshmallow thingies, really nice. Everything so far has been a winner. So, I'm curious to see if I was right. <laughs> Again, companies, when you're selling outside of a country, you might want to work on your names. Because calling a chocolate bar, plop. <laughs> Not too good. Not too good. So yeah, I am definitely thinking Switzerland or Belgium because just the names. This is just going to be, yeah, it's going to be a chocolate filled with a soft caramel. Oh God. Mmm. you've ever had really really buttery caramel where it's almost like you're just eating butter that was it and it's funny because this is the first thing that has actually had English on it and it just says milk chocolate with toffee fill soft toffee filling and that mm, that actually might yeah, that's taken over from the dime bar. That was really, really good. Okay. And we're on to our last thing. No. But it was really good. So our last thing is called Dummel. Dumel, Dummel, no, Dummel snacks. And it looks like it's crispy with chocolate and nougat or caramel or something in the middle 
Mm. So, there's our crispy outside. Our little chocolate bar. And what do we have in the middle? Hopefully it's that buttery caramel or buttery to toffee again. Just, wow. That's really weird. That's so weird. So you get the chocolate, you get the little crispy bits, then you get that filling. I'm calling it a filling because I'm getting hints of peanut butter and caramel. There's something in here that's minty. Like, I'm not going crazy. Mm. It's kind of like they took the butter caramel from that other chocolate bar, mixed in some peanut butter. I don't know where that mint is coming from. There's been nothing mint in this whole box yet. I'm getting mint. Not overpowering, but enough that I know it's there. That was really, really good. It was just different. I'm getting coconut as well. That was like all my favorite snacks put into one. So, let's... You guys all saw where we were. I still haven't. I've got the card here. And, yeah, Sweden. <laughs> I said Switzerland. I was close. But, yeah, Sweden. So that was excellent. So as usual, we get the little card. They've start, stopped doing the booklet. Now this just wraps around everything. Mm. And that was really, really good. You've got the description of some of the things here. Which is weird because... Nothing on that card is what we got. I mean nothing. So are these snacks from Sweet? <laughs> Like, that's weird, because normally whatever's inside is what this is, because they give you a chance to order extras if you liked it. And there's nothing on this card, holding it up, so I have notes, right? There's nothing on here that we got. What about this? Okay. So this card or paper does tell me what we had. But yeah, this tells me what we had. So I am going to assume we were in Sweden <laughs> because that's what that's from, and the recipe on there is on how to make a Swedish toast. Not something I'm going to try. <laughs> I've tried them before, and I will pass. So, there we go. This has been, I think, my second favorite box. First was that UK box, the very, very first one I got. That was incredible. 
Before it was the Israel box, now it's this, then the Israel box. Soviet Union's still way, way, way at the bottom. That was more like eating MREs than a snack crate. I didn't want to finish any of that stuff. So that was incredible. For those of you who are new to the channel, just so you're aware, I was actually donated from a subscriber who to this day, I still don't know who they are. Someone bought a 12 month subscription to Snack Crate for me. Came as a mystery. I know I didn't buy it. I'm not paying for it every month. I check my bank account. I did not buy this. This was one of you guys who surprised me and signed me up for Snack Crate. Uh, and that was almost a year ago. So this section might be coming to an end. We might be trying something new in the future. Maybe we'll do Munchbox. Maybe we'll find something else. Maybe I'll just keep going to stores and buying treats like I did for the two Japan videos. There was almost a third one, <laughs> but I ate it all before. So we might have to go and buy some more. The snacks are so good. So there we go. Our last, well, the last snack crate. Great, great box this month. The joy of snack crate is obviously you have no clue where you're going to go. Do it like me and pull out that card and then just try and guess. Sometimes it's easier than others. <laughs> Sometimes there's no way. Like this, I got pretty close. So this was great. What is it? By far almost my favorite box. But I know I'm going to enjoy all of these treats. Except these things. Those... I'll find someone who like them. But another great tasting. And I'm glad I didn't wait because all this chocolate would have melted. So now that just means I have to eat it all faster. <laughs> well, I hope everyone has an incredible rest of their weekend. If you're watching this in the future, hi. Did I win the lottery? <laughs> So until next time, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon, this way you'll know when I come out with new videos, which is normally every week. Sometimes two, sometimes three, it all depends. Primarily we do cooking, simple, easy, home style recipes that anybody can make. We do snack tastings, we do videos, we, we do it all. We do game nights every once in a while. It's been a while since we've done one. We'll get back to those eventually, I promise. If you are coming back to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you thought we'd gone before, before I, the reveal, and... Let me know which of these snacks would have been your favorite or which one you would have wanted to try the most. The Ploop Bar or Plop Bar. The name threw me off, but dang, that was good. The Dime Bars, for sure. Those chips, everything were so good. If I ever visit, I know I'm not going to go hungry. So, until next time, my name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. I want to thank you for stopping by and taking part of your day to watch. And we shall see you all again next time. Have a great weekend.